tomorrow morning and into afternoon is where things get interesting. So we have a big cutoff here. You can see Norwood 82, Worcester 69. That's a 13 degree differential and why? Well, we have showers moving in and these showers are going to keep these temperatures in the western part of the state around 70 degrees while areas where it's sunny, I'm talking about the southeast, may see temperatures around 80. I think it's the heaviest further in the central part of the state. You know, Worcester might see more like a three inch total than Springfield. But the big story also is the eastern half of the state remaining relatively dry. And you can see these roads behind me are very icy. Temperatures tonight getting below zero and tomorrow only getting to about 10 degrees. So it's not going anywhere soon. Be careful if you're on the roads driving or just walking around outside. Yeah, so weather risk is uh, often the forgotten about piece of meteorology. You know, people think of uh, on-air broadcasting and research when they speak about going into meteorology. Weather risk is more about the private sector, and a lot of the um, companies across the United States hire meteorologists to do work in the weather risk field. And here's a look over the city again, as I was saying, not much to see. Uh, 73 is the current temperature in Boston, dew point of 69 right now, and, and it's really humid out there, and that's why we have this fog. Visibility only two miles currently. As we get into the afternoon, clearing, and that's why I have the 36 degrees, because it'll warm up just a little bit. I don't know if it'll melt much of this snow, but certainly it'll stop. And, and tomorrow afternoon won't be too bad. So if you want to get out, that's the time to leave. Overnight temperatures sitting in around 70 degrees. And that's just because the air is so moist. It makes it hard for the heat to escape. Not too bad across the state, but I want you to watch really closely now. We're going to have a front move through and it's going to bring in much cooler weather. So watch it come in from the west to east here. Here it goes around the evening time and getting to State College overnight. Well, good afternoon. I'm student meteorologist Tucker Antico with your campus weather service forecast. And if you take a look outside, you're going to notice some beautiful skies. And on top of that, temperatures in the mid 50s. And this is February. And last week, our high temperatures were single digits. So think about that. Get outside if you get the chance because it's actually not going to last too long. And I mean, it's February. How could it? Now, temp skies are clear right now, but you notice there are some clouds moving in from west to east. And these will begin to take over the region as we get into the evening, though for the rest of the afternoon, it looks pretty nice. However, as clouds fill in, temperatures will drop. We do have a cold front moving through, and it's actually passing through our area right now, though temperatures won't drop too much till we get into the evening. So get outside while you can, while it's still warm, while it's still clear. And if you wait too long, well, look at Erie right now, 36 degrees. So cooling down quickly out there, that's because the front's already passed by. And in areas in the center part of the state, you'll notice we're still in the mid 50s. The front is still on its way. And actually in the Southwest even, temperatures in the mid 60s. So these are areas, of course, the front hasn't gotten near yet. And it's certainly nothing like a normal February day down there. Now, if you wanna look at the big picture and see where all this cold air is coming from, well, it's similar to last week. Check out those temperatures in the Northern Plains. Now, I'm not saying it's going to get that cold here, but it just gives you an idea of what the setup is, similar to last week where you had the cold Arctic high coming out of Canada and into our region. Now, this cold air will last tomorrow, and with it, it will bring some rain. Notice on our future cast that we have this, these showers coming through tomorrow in the mid-afternoon. They're not going to last too long, but they'll be out and back in again Wednesday morning. You can see this second round pass through. So be sure you have that rain jacket out and ready to go. There's not going to be any snow with this system here, but certainly it will be wet outside. Now, the next system that comes through is going to come through overnight or late in the evening, excuse me, Thursday. And we can see that right here around 10, 11 o'clock is when it gets into our region. And this is going to be the big, the, the stronger front, the bigger of the two that's going to produce a lot of rain. And I can't even rule out a rumble of thunder. It will be a pretty strong system. It's going to be in and out quick, though. Watch how fast it's out. And actually, by Friday morning, we're looking at clearing skies in this area. However, that comes with a price. Much colder air again. And look, it is February, but it will feel like it's back into the teens overnight. And it will certainly be much cooler as we get into the weekend. Now, how much rain can we expect, first of all, from these two systems? Well, the first round, not a whole lot. 0.37 inches here in the center part of the state. But that's enough to, to want to put on boots or a rain jacket. And then the second system, Thursday evening, brings us about three quarters of an inch of rain. So that's a pretty uh, healthy system that comes through. It'll be quick, though, and it'll be overnight, so it won't affect your day too much. However, you'll notice it's much heavier in the western part of the state, where this front will be stronger coming through. And in the east, certainly a healthy bout of rain, but not as much, again, because the front will be weaker as it gets into that area. Now, overnight tonight, temperatures will get down into the mid-30s. You can see that right there with mostly cloudy skies. The redeeming factor? light wind and you'll notice that this will be a, a warm 34 so to speak it is it, it won't be cooler because of the wind chill 
to, uh, tomorrow, temperatures reach about 40 degrees. There will be a few showers in the afternoon, and again, lighter winds. So if you're dressed appropriately, it won't be a terrible day to walk around outside. It is February after all, so 40 degrees is about our normal, maybe even a few degrees warmer right now. And as for our seven-day forecast, you'll notice that Thursday we warm back up into the 50s, but this will be short-lived. Check out Friday. High temperature of 48, low temperature of 18. Now, this stays cold Saturday, Sunday, and Monday before our next system Tuesday, which we're going to have to watch and keep you updated on as it becomes closer because we are expecting a chance for some snow. But, again, we'll have updates on that as we get nearer to that date. From the Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Tucker Antico.